there is a man by the name of James Roberts who treks some 21 miles each day to get to and from work. He's a guy who lives in Detroit, 53-year-old guy, working as a factory worker, making $10.55 an hour. He has to walk. I think he walks roughly 10 miles to the bus stop. So he walks 10 miles to the bus station, then rides the bus, then uh, works probably a 12-hour day, then turns around, rides the bus home, walks another, or rides the bus to the bus stop, walks another 10 miles home. Uh, and he says he basically falls into bed at night, sleeps for a couple of hours, and then goes back to work. And he says he does that, you know, every single day of the week. And by the weekend, he's just, you know, just exhausted, which how could you not be? 53 years old, good grief. Um, and, uh, they were doing this piece on him with the Detroit Free Press and, uh, turns out people are pretty generous <clears throat> when they see somebody who deserves, uh, you know, deserves a hand up. And so immediately after seeing it, a 19 year old kid by the name of, uh, Leedy decided that he was going to create a, uh, a crowdfunding page for him. This is a, a this is a fantastic new way and again, it's the free market at work. A guy sets up a page. He says, hey, donate to my thing. Here's what I'm doing. Here's my new gadget or my invention. And instead of having to go to a bank and try and convince a bank and go through all the red tape and the regulation that goes into that, or instead of trying to, you know, start a corporation and, and raise funds and go through that bureaucratic and regulatory nightmare, you just set up a page and say, hey, if you like what I'm doing, give me money. And if you'll give me money, then I will do X, Y, and Z for you. I'll give you one of my new gadgets when it comes out. Or I'll invite you to the premiere of my, you know, little film festival movie. Or I'll give you a free t-shirt or whatever the case may be. And if you like what the guy's doing and you believe in the project, then you can donate to it. Now, right now, that's totally free. It's one of the best examples of a free market at work. Uh, that we've seen so far. We're going to find out whether the government ends up coming in and trying to regulate it. I think eventually they will, but for right now, it's free and wonderful. But they found this guy, so he puts the stuff on there, and he says, hey, uh, uh, I just want to create a site and tell you about this guy, and he needs a new car. Well, can, can we all rally together and kind of spread the word and, and donate a little bit of money and get the guy a new car? And he said within an hour, he had $2,000. As of today, they've raised about $43,000 for this guy to get a new car. And the guy hasn't had a car, I guess, in 10 years, because he said that when his car broke down 10 years ago, he couldn't afford the parts to replace it. But it turns out he might not actually need the $43,000. It's going to be his. He's going to get it. They're going to give it to him. But Roger Chevrolet in uh, Woodhaven, Michigan, offered to give Robertson a free 2014 Chevy Cruze or Sonic after the sales manager saw his story. So the sales manager saw the story, ends up calling the owner and saying, hey, can we, can we do something for this guy? Can we help him out? And the, man, and, and the store owner says, yeah, let's do something for this guy. Heck yeah. And they said, the only thing he has to cover is the $900 in tax that the car costs. And I, I think that is because legally the car uh, owner cannot or the, the, the car dealership cannot pay the taxes for the vehicle. That has to come from the owner of the vehicle, which in my opinion is another stupid rule. But never mind that. So here's a guy. Now he's going to walk away with a new car. Probably, I don't even know how. See if you can look up Charles right now and find out what the GoFundMe is at right now. Just uh, probably GoFundMe, try GoFundMe James Robertson and see if it comes up. Because he's going to get, you know, a brand new car, probably $42,000, uh, depending on how much money he's raised prior to him. Well, how much is it? 50000 50000 Okay, so he's going to get probably a whole lot more than that now that the story's starting to circulate, now that it's getting out into, into mainstream media. But guys... I'd be surprised if this guy didn't get some job offers. I got to tell you, if I had an opening in Detroit, I'd hire the guy. Anybody who's got that level of commitment to a $10 an hour job, I guess it's $11 an hour. I mean, a dude walks 20 miles a day to get to work. He's not taking money from anybody. He's not asking for a handout. He just goes every day and does his job. He's probably got limited skills. 
been working at that same factory job for, you know, decades, just punching a clock, doing his job, making things happen. And listening to this guy's story, I did not have time because I just came across this before we uh, started the program today. But listen to the story, just listen to him talk. He said, you can't, there's nothing you can throw at me that I can't take, that, I, you know, that I can't overcome. Well, that's the kind of thing that every employer wants, to know that that guy has so much dedication to what he does that he's willing to get up and walk 20 miles round trip and take the bus to go on two hours of sleep every single night in order to be at his job every day so that he can earn a living and provide for himself. I would be floored if this guy doesn't have job offers. And I just think that this is a great story. And, and I would, I'm going to tell you a story in a minute about a teacher.